What is friction and its effects? Now we will discuss what friction is, what are some of its effects, and how we are using it positively. Friction comes into effect when two bodies are in contact. The friction force opposes or tends to oppose motion between surfaces in contact. For example, if a force is applied to a table to move it across the room towards the right, the friction will be towards the left. If the pushing force is greater than the friction, then the table will move. If the applied force is removed, friction will cause the movement of the table to slow down and eventually stop it. If the pushing force is smaller than the friction, the table will not move at all. How does friction affect us? The effects of friction can be positive or negative. Some of its positive effects are that we can walk without slipping. In motion, vehicles can slow down when needed. Some of its negative effects are that cars are 20% less efficient and in turn, moving parts in engines, motors and machines suffer wear and tear. So you may wonder how the negative effects of friction can be reduced. The answer lies in the invention and the discovery of wheels, ball bearings, lubricants, polished surfaces and air cushions. Let's discuss them. Wheels. We cannot imagine pushing a shopping trolley that does not have wheels. We would need to exert a great deal of force to overcome the large friction between the metal basket and the floor. Being circular in shape, wheels reduce the friction between the basket and the floor and smaller force can be applied to move the trolley. Ball bearings. Ball bearings are used to reduce friction between moving parts of cars, machines, and inline skates. Placed between moving parts, ball bearings roll around and prevent moving parts from rubbing against each other. This reduces the wear and tear of these parts. Lubricants and polished surfaces. Applying a layer of lubricant, such as oil or grease, between surfaces in contact can greatly reduce friction. Lubricants are frequently used between the moving parts of an engine to reduce wear and tear. This helps prolong the life of the engine. Polishing a surface removes surface irregularities. This reduces friction between surfaces in contact. Air cushion. We can ride a hovercraft over the ground and water and nearly any kind of surface. Do you know why? The hovercraft has a set of fans that blows air downwards continuously, creating a cushion of air that lifts the deck and minimizing the friction between the hovercraft and its terrain. In today's world, we are making use of everything for the benefit of mankind. So, how are we using friction to benefit us? Treads. Ever noticed a network of lines on tires? These are treads. Friction is important to the motion of vehicles. Friction enables the tire to grip the road surface and roll without slipping. Without friction, a car's wheels would just skid on their place or move without control. On a rainy day, a moving vehicle may skid on wet roads. Its tires need to have more grip on the road to prevent skidding. This is why tires are designed with tread, grooves that quickly channel water out from underneath the tires. This improves the grip of the tires on wet roads. Parachute. Air resistance is a type of friction in the air. A skydiver in mid-air varies air resistance to change his speed. To speed up, he reduces air resistance by adopting the head-first position. To slow down, he increases air resistance by adopting a spread eagle position. To achieve a safe landing, a skydiver has to increase air resistance significantly. He does this by making use of the much larger surface area of an open parachute. Chalk. Rock climbers need to have a firm grip on the rock surface with their hands and feet. They usually use chalk powder on their hands to absorb perspiration and improve their grip. 